Now, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has triggered political, strategic, as well as economic responses from the West in the strongest economic sanction so far. The United States and the European nations have now interestingly chosen to banish certain big Russian banks from the main global payment system called SWIFT. The move appears to be dealing a pretty severe economic blow for the Russian economy. The worried Muscovites fear that the new Western sanctions will trigger shortages of cash and will disrupt even the otherwise normal payment systems that they used. Russians were seen waiting early this morning outside of ATMs in very long queues and there are concerns that bank cards, that is your debit and your credit cards, could also cease to function. And banks could also potentially limit cash withdrawals because of the cash crunch which the banks will now face. Ну, неприятно, на самом деле, последствия, потому что я, допустим, привык жить в 21 веке, не имея с собой пластиковой карты, не имея ничего. У меня все установлено в телефоне, все банковские структуры. Наличными я уже не пользуюсь на протяжении пяти лет, наверное. Поэтому для меня это очень сильно ударит, потому что надо заказывать карточку. И как с ней жить, я, если честно, уже не помню. Но некоторые российские банки были блокированы от SWIFT Global Payment System while other measures limit Moscow's use of $630 billion war chest. The limit on the use of over $630 billion in international reserves could of course prove to be even costlier for the Russian economy. There are warnings of catastrophic economic damage. The measures curb the ability of the Russians to keep large amounts of cash in EU banks. The sanctioned banks have sought to assuage any fears over money supplies and online payment systems. The Russia's biggest lender, Serb Bank, has said that it is not seeing any interruptions in customer transactions through its own and partner payment systems. The State Development Bank, VEB, has said that external restrictions will not stop its efforts to work in supporting projects within Russia. Otkreit has said that new restrictions will not have any significant impact beyond the use of its bank cards abroad. The Central Bank, however, has advised people to carry their bank cards with them. They were informed that mobile payment systems may not work at all with terminals or even for online shopping. Now, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has pushed tens of thousands of people out of their homes. Hundreds have in fact fled to the neighboring nations to try and escape from the violence to places like Romania, Slovakia, Poland and even as far as Germany. All of them have opened their borders to welcome the Ukrainian refugees. Our next report gets you the details. Папа будет продавать что-то, будет помогать на нашим героям. Нашим войскам, нашим войскам будет помогать, может даже будет воевать.
message will be very true that it can happen with you in every home in Europe because nobody knows what he uh, what Putin want and where he will finish. So if you see it on media, it's not about somewhere else. It's, you should feel that it's in your home as it is in my home. As for humanitarian situation overall, currently expected number of displaced Ukrainians is over 7 million people. And in the worst case scenario, if this war of aggression continues, we will find they will find themselves in urgent need of humanitarian assistance. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.